we talked about this you know many months ago when we had the half day release but going back up here in the corner as the reminder of what you're thinking about as you're using the placemat uh, ST3 is for the English language arts one and it stands for the standards the themes the text and the types so that's what we're trying to sort through on the placemat which standards are we going to teach the themes that we will use the text that we will use and then what types of tasks will the students do to demonstrate in the class. Yeah, key ideas and details. You're going to have key ID details here. Ideas <laughs> and details with every text that you use. So that's why they're there. But it's also and broken probably, down to where you're focusing on the analysis of structural elements, although you still need your key details. Mm -hmm. You're focusing on central ideas of the lesson, but you still need the key details. And they felt those were still important to keep them focused, and they have all these tasks, but now they're going to have to go analyze their task because they're not, going to, they're not sure they're going to reach their goals for the unit. So what we had was we had a lot of tasks we want to do with the snowman unit, but we had no guidance from there. So this really turned around their focus to say, we need to make sure that we're doing what's important yeah. with their literary analysis and then tying things to it and then going back and writing about it. And we had a huge discussion about the writing of it being meaningful rather than just personal narrative, personal narrative, personal narrative, which is what you did last night. With that, because here's why I think you, you guys need to get, you see you get dirty with it. Because if not, you probably have thousands of questions, but as you progress along, those questions are going to be answered as you go through the process. We have big mats that each one of you could have your own personal one, we just don't have space for it. We can, you guys can choose to do one big mat. You can choose to do individual mats. You can break yourselves up into groups of two, groups of three, and play with this. You can do anything you want today. Today is your day. I will share the unit organizer that Jane added on to that is a little more clarifying, I think, if you're working through it, and that first grade actually chose to use because they could circle things. It made sense to them. They worked on it as an entire group rather than an individual. Concepts in a historical, explain events in a historical text. That's actually a but you have a bank to pull your forms off of, of what you're trying to do. What about like integrating information? Integrating? No.